So visually, this website is really coming together. I installed the Cadence theme, I imported a starter template, I went through the WordPress customizer to change some of the theme settings, and this is what we're left with. But of course, if I were turning this into a real website, my natural next step would be to edit the content, right? We've got all these pages that were imported by the starter template, and it's all just generic content that doesn't have anything to do with me or my business or whatever it is that I'm building this website for. So let's go ahead and edit this home page. There are three main things that I wanna highlight in this video. And the first is that while this page may look super impressive and well-designed, it's built with blocks, just like any other page in WordPress. So if we go to the list view here, we can see the actual anatomy of the page. You can see there's a bunch of row layouts, and if we expand those, we can see sections, expand that, and we can see the individual blocks. And if you click into any of this, you can edit the text, and you can edit the properties of the individual blocks. Like if I wanna edit this button, I can do that. I can change the background color, the link, I can add an icon, I can change the size, all of these things. And I can do the same with all of the individual blocks on this page. I can also move things around. So you can see everything is nicely grouped together here, which we discussed earlier. And because of that, if I wanna move these sections around, it's really easy to do. So let's take, let's take this section, for example, and say I wanna move it down a couple of spots. You can see it moves very smoothly past the other sections, which are also nicely grouped together. And it's very easy to rearrange this page. Another thing I wanna highlight is a lot of these blocks are actually new. Now that we've installed this theme, the theme itself comes with a selection of custom blocks. So that's something you'll notice that themes and plugins can actually add their own blocks to the WordPress editor. So if we scroll down, I'm just gonna go way down to the bottom of the page here, just add a new block. And you'll see that we have cadence blocks. So we have all these different things that have been added by the theme. And some of them are just better versions of the default WordPress blocks. So like the icon list, that is essentially just a bullet list, but it uses a selection of icons instead of your standard bullets. So we've got that, we've got an info box, accordion, testimonials, uh, an advanced gallery. Uh, if we scroll up, you can see that this is advanced text. It just gives you a lot more options to control the formatting of your text. We've also got an advanced button, another cadence block. Like I said, a lot of these are improvements upon the standard blocks that you have available in WordPress. So this is another reason why I recommend the cadence theme as well as the Astra theme because you have these extra blocks available to you. In addition to the blocks themselves, there's also a really handy feature here that can save you a ton of time when you're creating pages from scratch. And that is this design library. Now, this is what it's called in the cadence theme with cadence blocks, but Astra has a pretty much identical feature in this exact same location. They just call it template kits. So if you go to design library, if you're using cadence or template kits, if you're using Astra, you'll see this library of pre-built designs. So you can see we've got sections, we've got starter packs, and we've got wireframe. So sections are pre-built and pre-designed sections, very similar to the sections that are already on this page. So if you wanna quickly add a big hero image or a pricing table or something like that without constructing it from scratch, block by block, you can use these pre-built designs. Now the starter packs are very similar to the starter templates, but instead of importing an entire website, you're just gonna import a single page. So if you like one of these pages and you wanna use it for whatever page you're building, you can do that from here. Now the feature that I really like in this design library, and again, this is available in both Cadence and Astra, is the wireframe section. 
Now in Cadence, it is gonna ask you to join the Cadence mailing list to get access to these wireframes. So you would just enter an email address here, accept the privacy policy and click subscribe for access. And then as soon as you've done that, you have full access to these wireframes. So what are wireframes? These are very similar to the pre-built sections we saw before, but they're unstyled. So if we go back to the sections, you can see a lot of these are pretty heavily styled and they're gonna require a lot of customization to get them to fit into your website. But the wireframes have no styling. They're just a template. It essentially just gives you a structure for the type of content you wanna create. So you can create a pricing table, for example, add your own styling, add your own content. It still saves you the time of having to construct this whole section block by block, but you're not gonna have all this extra styling that may not match your website, right? So the wireframes are my sort of go-to when I'm creating a website from scratch because it gives me a structure to work with, I can style it on my own, and it still saves me a ton of time. So definitely recommend making use of these wireframes and the sections if you want to, if you're using cadence blocks or if you're using the Astra theme. The third and final thing I wanna mention is that many themes will add their own options to the WordPress editor to allow you to configure how an individual page looks on the front end of your site. So often this will be a tab up here at the top. In my case with Cadence, it's this little icon that says page settings, but sometimes themes will just insert these options right here below the standard WordPress settings. It just depends on your theme. But for Cadence, it's gonna be this icon, page settings. If you open that, you're gonna see a different sidebar here and you're gonna have a variety of options that determine how this page looks on your site. So taking a look at some of these settings, you can choose to use a transparent header. You can disable the page title, which you can see that's been done here because you don't necessarily want it to say home over top of your nice big hero section. So the page title is disabled. And of course you can set the default on any of these options. This is all just to override your global theme settings. Uh, so then you can set your page layout. You can choose whether you want a full width page, which we have here, or if you want a left or right sidebar, a narrow layout, etc. Then you can choose whether you want your content to be boxed or unboxed. That just sort of separates the content area from the background. Content vertical padding adds some empty space at the top and bottom of your content. Then you can choose to show or hide the featured image. And if you want to, you can disable the header or the footer, which may come in handy if you wanna create a landing page where your content is the main focus. So those are some page settings that you can configure on a page by page basis and override your default theme settings whenever you're looking to create a specific user experience. So if you did import a starter template, go ahead and make some modifications to your front page and any other pages that were imported that you intend to keep and really make them your own with your own content and then we'll move forward with the course.